Hey guys, it's your girl Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to share with you how to make this extreme hair growth dip conditioning treatment that you can add to your regimen for your hair to be super, super moisturized, to help you retain length, to reverse damaged hair, and essentially just to treat your hair, guys. Like, literally, this treatment is the best. You definitely want to keep on watching. Now, before we get into it, guys, I just want to say a massive thank you. If you are one of my returning subscriber, I really love and appreciate you. If you're new here, please consider clicking the subscribe button to join the family. Now let's hop into the video. As you can see here, you are going to need some oats. So I'm using raw organic oats, but any oats will be absolutely fine for today's recipe. So pop it in a little pot and then we're going to add some water and bring it to the boil. So you want to cook your oats until they sort of nice and soft and kind of like soggy um so obviously just be there to stir every now and again so that it doesn't burn Now this process should take about two to three minutes from the time that it started boiling. So um, yeah, this is what mine looks like after it's been cooked. You can see it's quite nice and sort of like, you know, mushy or soggy like, and that's fine. If I'm making oats to eat, I'm not gonna make it this way because I prefer mine a little bit crunchy, um, but we're using this for a dip conditioner. So you wanna cook your oats until you get this kind of consistency. So pop that in a little bowl. Now we're going to go ahead and add some aloe vera so I'm using fresh aloe vera leaf um, for today's recipe um, you guys know my aloe vera is always fresh um, and that's because it still has like all of its nutrients and all of that stuff like it's not processed um, but obviously if you don't have fresh aloe vera where you're living um, it's okay to use aloe vera gel which you can purchase from Amazon or I think Costco also sells aloe vera gel which seems to be 100%, so you can definitely um, check that out. So I'm just going to cut my aloe vera, give it a nice wash. I do not normally allow it to soak when I'm in a wash, um, but you can soak it beforehand. Um, I've used it for so long that it doesn't really itch or anything, like my skin doesn't react to it at all. Um, so essentially, you just want to cut your aloe vera, remove the flesh, and just add it to the oats that we've already cooked. Okay guys, so once that's all done, you want to go ahead and give it a good blend. Um, so I'm using a hand blender for this, but it's also okay to pop this in your regular blender and give it a good blend until it's nice and smooth. Now once that's all blended guys, we're going to go ahead and sieve it. So for this I'm using a wig cap but it's also okay to use a tea towel, stocking cap or any other thing that you normally use to strain your DIYs. So just pop that on there and essentially we're just going to give it a nice squeeze so we can get rid of the pulp essentially because you don't want that to get stuck in your hair. And here you have it that's the pulp so we're just gonna get rid of that and essentially this is what you should have left behind um, so this on its own is super super amazing for moisture high growth treatment all of that good stuff so I'm gonna go ahead and add a bit of avocado just because I just love the feel of avocado on my hair it also has quite a lot of natural oils that do help to keep our hair moisturized for a prolonged period of time now this half avocado is just sitting in my fridge essentially it's always better when you eat your avocados guys because you reap more benefits from it than actually just putting it on your scalp um, but obviously you can also use it topically just like I'm doing here so just cut your avocado pop it in there and then we're just going to go ahead again and give it a good blend now it's super important that you give this a really really good blend guys just because of the fact that if you do not uh, blend it really well you will have some 
avocado stuff like stuck in your hair and you don't really want that so take your time to blend it properly until it's nice and smooth now this is a kind of consistency that you're going to end up with so just a little bit thicker than what we had initially now we're going to go in with some jamaican black castor oil but it's okay to use olive oil as well if you don't have um this now i love Jamaican black castor oil as well for high growth because it is super super moisturizing um, it's a bit thick so sometimes it doesn't work really well when you apply it directly to the hair um, so it's always better to dilute it in some way but I just love it in my DIYs so essentially I added about one I think it was one tablespoon uh, of that now I'm going in here with two teaspoons of honey Honey is a natural humectant which helps to draw the moisture from the atmosphere into your hair. So super, super amazing at retaining moisture. So essentially, once you combine that, give it a nice stir until everything is nice and combined. And then that's it. Really, really quick and simple. And you've got yourself an amazing high growth deep conditioning treatment that you can use once every week. Or once every other week if you want to to help you retain moisture and cool your hair over time this is super super amazing you will get to see how moisturizing this dip conditioner is like literally you will not want to try anything else I did share with you guys a dip conditioner using oats in the past and most of you guys loved that that video and some of you guys actually tried it and the feedback was just amazing this again is an, another amazing one and i'm pretty sure that after you've tried this guys you will most definitely love it because yeah the moisture that i got in my hair when applying this and even after the application was just insane so you definitely want to give this a try so in this part of the video guys i'm just going to show you how i'm applying this and you guys will get to see how super moisturized my hair is looking um so at the moment my hair is really really dry as you can see like it is so dry although it's clean um it just needs a bit of moisture i try to deep condition my hair uh, once every week or once every other week um just depending on how busy i am but deep conditioning is super super important guys when it comes to helping you retain moisture in your hair and retain length over time it is super important because it dry hair just breaks like it just naturally breaks and our hair doesn't really stay moisturized um, pretty easily like let's say Caucasian hair because you know our sebum just doesn't get to the length of our hair to moisturize it so that's why we have to put a little bit more effort into moisturizing our hair um, so deep conditioning is just such an amazing way of, you know, giving your hair all of the moisture, all of the nutrients that it needs and all of that good stuff to enable it to grow to its full potential. So essentially, as you can see here, I'm working this throughout my hair. So including my scalp, my ends, I'm making sure that every bit of my hair is, is covered. And look at how amazing my curls were popping, like literally. This is crazy. This deep conditioner is just it's just amazing honestly the moment you put it on your hair it just soaks up all of that moisture like straight away literally you don't need to you know wet the hair before applying you can apply this directly to dry hair and you can watch it transform from that dryness to that you know super moisturized curly looking hair that you may be looking for it is just so amazing so you want to work this through your hair guys and then essentially twist and do like a little bantu knot which is what i'm doing here so that that part of my hair doesn't dry as i work on the next section of my hair now the one thing i want to say guys is that this can be a little bit messy so be warned um as you're applying it it can be a little bit messy because you know it's quite um high in water um so it will leak occasionally um your top's going to be a bit dirty so maybe don't wear a top that you know you can't afford to get dirty for example um but generally it is such an amazing deep conditioning treatment that you can add to your regimen very easily so you can see how amazing those curls were looking right super super moisturized and even after you rinse this off your hair just feels divine 
honestly, it feels so good. Now, I always get questions on dry hair. Uh, most of you guys complain that your hair is dry all the time. I don't really know what your regimen is like, but honestly, with all of these recipes that I share with you guys, if you just use it the right way, I promise you guys, you will most definitely see a difference. If you're not deep conditioning your hair already, I will suggest you consider adding it to your regimen. It is super, super important when it comes to um, retaining moisture and keeping your hair moisturized. So I'm just going to go ahead and do the rest of my hair off camera just because otherwise the video will be very long. So this is what it looks like after it's all done. Can you see guys how messy it is looking? You know, um, you can see my uh, it's leaking on my face like literally you can see my makeup is coming off right um so that's how messy this can get essentially but i don't really mind because the moisture is just insane so i'm just putting a little plastic bag on my hair so that i can allow heat to get you know penetrate my hair essentially i'm gonna let that sit for about an hour or two and then just go ahead and rinse it with warm water and this is what my final result looks like so you end up with super moisturized hair very shiny very soft and manageable um easy to detangle so all of that goodness you should definitely go ahead and give this a try and if you do guys let me know in the comment section down below if you liked it um just like you did in my previous video i would really appreciate it so this is pretty much it for me today thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed the video, you found it informative in any way, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel guys if you're not already and I'll catch you next time. Bye.